What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with a variation of a team I really like, and that is this Shell Smash Blastoise team. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. So Shell Smash Blastoise team, I really enjoy. I really like setting up with the Shell Smash and just dominating the whole match. We have Blastoise in that front spot with that Torrent and Mystic Water to help. Water moves do more damage with Shell Smash, Water Spell for Stab, and then he has two coverage moves with Ice Beam and Flash Cannon. You cannot have a Blastoise team without a Lightning Rod Raichu, and that is exactly what we have with Nuzzle, Brick Break, Fake Out, and Volts, which I really love this moveset. We can control with Paralyzes, we can Fake Out for Flinch, we can Brick Break to break screens, and we can swap back out and pivot with Volt Switch. Then we have two little Follow Me Pokemons. We have the Togekiss with that Babiri Berry, and that Clefairy with the uh, Evo Light, with the Evo Light and Friend Guard. So both of them can come in in certain situations. Say he has like Steel Pokemon, like a Durant or a uh, Duraldon. I want to roll out with Togekiss, but other than that, Clefairy is going to be taking the cake here because it has Friend Guard as it reduces damage to other ally Pokemon. That's its ability. With they both have Life Dew, Follow Me, and Clefairy has Helping Hand and Icing Wind. With Togekiss having Air Slash and Dazzling Gleam. And then in the bottom two spots are going to be nice little attackers. Like we have a big special attacker with that Rotom with the Levitate and the Oka Berry, which actually reduces fire damage with Leaf Storm for Stab, Thunderbolt, Ally Switch is going to be nice too to protect your Blastoids as well. Swap out and just make Blastoids dodge an attack and get another hit off once we get the Shell Slash set up, and Dark Pulse for a little bit of flinch chance. And then the Arcanine in the final spot with Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed for that first turn priority, Close Combat, and Protect. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but yo, I'm hyped for this. I want to see if I can get a winning record today, because I know in the last video, we did not. We went 1-2, so let's at least try to go 3-0 or 2-1. Okay, so for the first match, he has a beat-up Lucario or beat-up Arcanine. I'm guessing Lucario because, you know, Lucario is more of a mainstream beat-up Pokemon. So how am I going to roll out with this one? How am I going to roll out with this? He's probably going to go Whimscott Lucario, go beat-up turn one. I could fake it out, but then what would that give me? What would that give me? A free Shell Smash, but then you just Tailwind and then you can outspeed me? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I got to think this one through. I got to think this one through. So I'm thinking about doing that. Do I go fake out turn one? And then I can always, uh, I can always Nuzzle as well. Ooh work that could work but then tailwind lucario might be able to outspeed we'll see we'll see how should i do this how should i do this um let's go here and then go into but then you still punch on my you still get a hit off on that let's go clefairy here let's go clefairy one two we'll go right you in the back end and then i think i bring togekiss i think i double up with the follow me pokemon control and just protect this blast so throughout the match and try to pull out this win but i can go turn one follow me lucario will probably just i should have went togekiss with that babiri berry but we can save it for next we can save it for next one because I brought them both. But still. We can go follow me first turn. Shell smash up. If he goes beat up, he goes beat up. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. I can just follow me a couple turns. And then eventually just wipe out his big mods. And then be able to outspeed later. Like, see, here he goes right here. Turn one. I got a shell smash. Like, I, I have to shell smash. He's going to go into a steel spike. Um, I think I just died turn one here to the steel spike. Or the steel spike. Yeah. That's probably what's happening. Where do I, where do I go turn one and go after that thing? No, we're just going to shell smash here. We are just going to Shell Smash. And then follow me. Or I could Icy Wind. Mm. Mm. Yeah, follow me, Shell Smash. We're going we're gonna to go with our plan. We're going to go with our plan and see if this thing works out. Like, dude, I love these teams so much. I love a good old Shell Smash Blastoise team. But the follow me comes out. He does not Dynamax, which is actually awesome. Which is actually awesome. Is he going to set up the Tailwind? No, he's going to go straight for a Meteor Mash here. That's totally fine. We should be able to eat that one up. And what's he going to go for? A Moon Blast? An Energy Ball. Can we eat that one up? We actually might be able to eat up this Energy Ball. That could be huge. Oh, man, yo, did not eat up that, but we got a Shell Smash off, which I'm totally cool with. Now I'm Dynamaxing. Now I'm Dynamaxing. You want it, baby? I'm here for you. What you want, fool? I gotta look out what Pokemon he has so he doesn't just swap out and eat this one up. But there we go, yo, boosting our big stats. Boosting our big stats, but yo, defense is doo-doo right now. I mean, now I just go into Togekiss. We're just gonna roll out into Togekiss. He doesn't have a Tailwind set up. He was just gonna go try to dump on the Blastoids. That's a fact. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with that. Surprised he didn't go for that beat-up or anything. But Tokus comes in here. I can eat up a Steel Spike all day. I can eat up a Steel Spike all day. Now, I'm going to go into a Geyser, set the Rain. Go after Lucario. Does he have a Storm Drain Mon? No, he does not. Nothing's really eating up. I mean, Mimikyu could use a Disguise on it. And then maybe go, he can go into a Draco Fish. And then, yeah, follow me Supply. Actually, I just outspeed that thing. He, he doesn't have a Tailwind up. But do I just go for the follow me? Just to play it safe. Yeah, I'm going to go for the follow me just to play safe. Because I know our defense is low. Because if he goes tailwind, he might be able to outspeed me. And get a dynamic shot on me. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. 
Got the shell smash off. Looking good. Good thing you go into the double follow me mods. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Like I said, I just want to control this match, protect the Blastoids, and let the Blastoids just start picking off Pokemon one by one. We also have that Raichu in the back end. He can come in later game. Drop a fake out, nuzzle up, all that good stuff. Brick break, but he won't have any screens. I don't think he has any screen mods. But we do go first with the follow me, obviously. And hopefully he doesn't go for a tailwind and we can just dump on the Sucario. We'll see what happens. He's going to go for a tailwind. Okay, now let's see who outspeeds. This is actually a huge question here. Is the Shell Smash Blast going to outspeed or Lucario? The Lucario does, which is insane. And a close combat comes out. So we save up a Beery Berry, which is awesome. His attack is down. We can probably say bye to the Lucario unless he's Sash because his defense is just doo doo now. That is awesome. We saved the Babiri Berry, baby. Now he has a Tailwind. I could have Shell Smashed twice. I could have Shell Smashed twice and ran that. But Lucario is sashed up. That's totally fine. Um, he's not going to do too, too much damage here. So maybe I just dropped the Ice. Maybe do I just drop the Ice. Hmm. I say I steal Spike and boost our defense here. And then I don't go for a Follow Me. But I go for an Air Slash. Right? I say that's fine. I say that is fine. You want to, uh, Meteor Mash gonna pop out here. Here comes our Babiri Bay. Beautiful, beautiful play by me. We just neglected that. Eat that up. We're chilling now. Look at that. Eat that up. Tasty, baby. That's tasty. That is tasty. Babiri Berry comes in clutch. Energy Ball is coming through. We should be able to just eat this up fine. Yeah. Big damage, but I was, I was looking to take a hit there. I honestly was. I was honestly looking to take a hit there. So, Steel Spike should be able to take out. No Sash. Air Slash comes through. Takes out the Luke Cario. Now, if I can just get one kill with my next shot with my Blastoids, we'll be chilling. We will be chilling because I think Raichu can come in here and clean up just a, a 1v1 situation. With the fake out, the nuzzles, all that good stuff. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the Air Slash. And I also have another follow me chance. Let's get it. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lucario. Okay, sitting good. He still has Dynamax. That's what I'm scared of. But I have the rain. A Max Geyser in the rain is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. But the one thing I really have to watch out for is going to be a Dynamax Mon. So there's the Mimikyu. That's probably his Dynamax Mon of choice. To be honest, and he's probably gonna come after. Oh, and there's a Draco fish as well. There's the fishy poo in the rain. Oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Who do I take out? That's the real question. I, mean, I think I have to go after uh, the Draco fish, right? I think I have to go after the Draco fish. Do I go for a follow me? Like, this thing's gonna be fast. Like I said, yeah, I gotta take out this Draco fish. This gonna come down to the wire. I thought maybe I could take this out one on one. The Mimikyu's gonna be tough. He's got a Dynamax and Mimikyu. He does not. He does not. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Can we take out the fishy poo? Fishy's friend comes out. Can we eat that one up? I'm hoping. Mm, we can. He gets a crit. What you mean? Yo, what do you mean? This game, we would have survived that hit. We would have survived that hit in this thing. Swords dances. Bruh. If we can take this out, um, I still think I think there's a chance of us chilling here. Hellstorm comes out. It's fine. Can we take? This this has to take in order for us to win. Okay. This thing's not even sash. Luckily we got the hail. Luckily we got the hail. This thing's not even sash, and it legit just survived on one. Like what you mean? This dude's luck is insane. This dude's luck is insane. Maybe Q takes a buffet. Okay. Thing is, I can't get a fake out, which is which is terrible. He's definitely gonna Dynamax here, and I'm gonna have to nuzzle buzzle. I'm gonna have to nuzzle buzzle. To slow this thing down. Um, do I protect? What's the play? I think I have to protect, right? I have to protect with my Blastoids. And that's still my kill. I have to slow this thing down. I do not even have to protect. Ooh! Mm, ah! This Flash Cannon's gonna have to come out, and we have to nuzzle it. He's gonna Dynamax. This is terrible. This is looking scary, guys. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the Dynamax. Oh, it's coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire here. Yo, are you kidding me? If that guy didn't get that crit, we would've been fine. We would've just followed me this turn. He would have died, and then my blast switch would have would have just uh, taken off this thing's disguise, and then we probably would it would have been one v one here. I would have went for a volt switch or another big shot. Oh, yo, so whack. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna guard. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually wonderful. We might have just won this game because that guy max guarded. His tailwind's up. Both these mods should be able to outspeed. Hmm, potential win. This could be good. This could be good. Right? Am I right? Yeah, Tailwind Peter's out. Hopefully my Raichu can go first. And we can just dump on this thing with a Flash Cannon. Come on, Raichu. Go first, buddy. Go first, buddy. Get this Nuzzle Bustle off. But I think I think Blastoid's gonna go. But yeah, Blastoid's goes first. Takes off the Disguise. That's cool. Um, Nuzzle's gonna pop off here. Can this thing 
get a paralyze. Can we get some luck? Can we get some luck here? Let's see what happens. We should be able to outspeed, right? Yeah, we do. Nuzzle buzzle. Yeah. Now he's paralyzed. And, he, and we get a crit on a nuzzle. Like, come on, dude. That's not where I want my crit at. Show me he's paralyzed. I'm gonna go for a phantasm on who? Show me the right you. Ooh. That's a tough call. Okay. Oh. Alright. So, Volt Switch gotta come out here. And he has to be paralyzed. Like, we have to do some work on this fool. We have to do some work on this dude. He's life orb as well. He's gonna take us out in one shot. That's a fact. I wish I had protect. Can paralyze clutch up for me? Or Volt Switch do a ridiculous amount of damage? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Alright, come on, Volt Switch. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. We got the speed. We got the speed. I need to sing to maybe be paralyzed. Let's see. Nope. I don't know if we're gonna take him out after he's Dynamax. Oh no. No, we lost we lose this game. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, my luck is just doo-doo, man. This dude gets a crit on me to win that match. But, yo, GG. We'll go and won the first one. Like I said, I want to get a win record. So, let's try to go on a two-game win streak for the next two. Let's get it, guys. First battle was whack. My luck is terrible. Like, come on. That dude really gets a crit on my Togekiss and wins that match. Psh, get out my face. Get out my face. But, he has Sandstorm Team. He does have Sandstorm Team. How can I roll out this? He has Competitive Milotic. Mimikyu. His team's looking pretty, pretty strong here. Like, Decently strong. He has a Hydreigon as well. I have no idea how I want to do this. So, who do I think he's going to lead? Maybe the Kitar Extra Drill? Like, this is just this is just rough here. This is just rough. I could I could lead an Intimidate, but then that, that leads for the competitive factor of this. this. So I'm going to go Togekiss, and I think Blastoise here. Or no, I think Clefairy is the better bet. But he has no uh, Steel. I mean, Extra Drill. Yeah, okay, never mind. We're going to go that. We're going to go Raichu, and then Arcanine or Rotom. I think Arcanine's the, definitely the call. Considering it has uh, Intimidate and he has four physical attackers here. Two with the Sandstorms, the Mimikyu, and then the Corviknight. So that could be huge. That could be honestly huge. And then the Fire moves as well, which could do work on the extra and that Corviknight at the same time. That's really, that's really, really nice. But battle number two, come on. I want to win. I want to win here. Sick of this bad luck just doing me over bad. Like, it's just screwing me over. But he throws out Milotic. Okay, good thing we did not go into competitive mode. Um, this one could be rocking out flash cannon, so a safe bet. I mean, mm, safe bet would be to go into the uh, the follow me, right? I'm kind of scared of that Milotic and what that Milotic can do, because it might be a hypnosis where it might just coil up. So I'm I'm just gonna go shell smash though. Still gonna shell smash here, just try to roll out with that, and just to see what happens. He might actually go for an icy wind. Let's see, he's gonna dynamax as well. He probably has steel. He's gotta be steel, right? It's gotta be fact. He's gotta probably be going for a steel spike. Because most of them do run it. Or they run uh, Max Knuckle. Oh, it's a Milo. It's a Milo, baby. It's going Milotic. Okay, set the rain for me, baby. Set it so I don't have to do it myself. Mwah, mwah, mwah. He's probably gonna drop ice, to be honest. Get the stab going. But that Hydreigon's gotta be Sash, right? Correct? Potentially. Let's see what happens here. Flash Cannon comes out here. Yo, that's, a, that, that's, that's tasty, dude. This, like I was saying, this dude rocks steel moves. We'll get, we'll get this. We'll eat this one up. And I can be able to take that thing out with a uh, Hailstorm. Or this thing's probably running Hail as well. Let's see what happens. He's going to drop the Hailstorm. Yeah, on the Tokus. Tokus, I think this Tokus can actually eat it up. And of course it does. <laughs> Every time I say something, it's just the total opposite. But Hail gets coming in here. Um, I Dynamax here. I got the Shell Smash. I'm boosting my speed. I should be faster than uh, most of these two down. And I can fake that, uh, that Hydreigon out. And just dump on it. My defense is low. It is so low right now. Um, hmm. Spell Smash definitely gotta come out here. And then definitely roll out into the, uh, the Raichu fake out and take out that, uh, Hydreigon. Or no, I don't have to fake out the Hydreigon anymore, right? I do not have to. I think I just nuzzled the, uh, I think I just nuzzled the, what's it called? The Milotic. I don't think fake out's even an option because I think we should be able to outspeed that thing now as we're plus two, right? Should be plus two on the speed board. Yeah, we're plus two on that speed board. We should be able to potentially outspeed that. So I might as well just nuzzle this thing. Control with the paralyzes. Dynamax and drop a hailstorm. And take that thing out. Let's, let's go. Let's get it. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this dude. He's going to withdraw. That's totally fine by me. Who's he going to roll into? Good thing I did not go for the fake out. He's going to go into Mimikyu. That's totally fine. We'll take that thing's disguise off. And here comes my big old D-Max, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, big D-Max here. Maybe I should have guard it. But I think maybe if we get one paralyzed turn here, we'll be chilling. I don't mind dropping in another ice that slot. Because if I can take out the Mimikyu, like I said, I'm not too worried about that. What's it called? That Milotic. 
Like, I'm not too worried about it unless he gets a lucky crit or something like that. Oh, here comes her. Oh, her hailstorm just go first. I gotta remember, we do outspeed the boy here. A oh, build, build, build. Take off that disguise. Yo, disguise is insane. I think Dynamax moves should hit through disguises, but eh. Wait, what you gonna do? What am I gonna do? Sit here, complain. Here comes her nuzzle buzzle. Nuzzle buzzle. <laughs> Give me that paralyzed. Oh, is this thing policy? Is this thing policy? It's not. Oh my god, and we come up so big there. We come up so big, honestly. That was huge. That is huge. Um, now do I guard? No, I do not guard. I mean, I could guard. That was only turn one, right? And I could volt switch out into the Arcanine. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna guard and volt switch out into the Arcanine. So I can see his last Dynamax move coming towards me and him maybe doubling up into me. That's fine by me. The volt switch gonna pop here. Do some damage. You love to see it. Get that Arcanine out there. Have that Intimidate rolling. Right? I brought Arcanine. Or did I bring Rotom? No, I brought Arcanine. Okay, cool. And then I can eventually pivot back in, use fake outs, and roll from there. But not bad. Not bad play, Jeans. Let's see what happens. There's no way you go for a geyser on this side. There's not a chance. Like, there's, there's no there's no chance. Right? You gotta be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Your boy might have messed up. I just competitive this thing up. You go for a Quake on this side? What What is this game? Like, what Milotic's running Quake? Just to muff me up. Like, what is this? And now this thing is just boosted out of its mind. Whack. I never I never seen something more whack than that. What Milotic is running a ground move? And this thing is running... Well, obviously, this thing's running Trick Room. Like, what is this game? I just don't understand. I just, I really don't understand too, too much. Okay, so fake out's gotta come here. Onto the Milotic side. Then we have to dump on the Mimi Mims. The Mimi Mims! Or do we dump on the Milotic? Yeah, I think we dump on the Milotic as this thing is minus one. I said, yes, the Mimikyu is minus one. Oh my lord, this game is whack! No, I'm not doubling into the Milotic because that's a potential protect there. And I am going to do I boost my defense back? No, he's spe he 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 a special mon, so I think Geyser's gonna have to come out here. We'll set we'll set the water. We'll set the water. I will set the water. But Fake Out definitely comes out first. Does he protect? He does protect. See, this is why I didn't want to double into that slot. Okay, we're chilling. Fake out. Block. Block block. I can't believe this thing is running ground. Phantom Force. It's just not your boy's day today. It's not your boy's day. Not, not even close. To your boy's day. This is this is a rough day for your boy. We're gonna go 0 and 2 here. Hopefully, we can at least win the last one. Like this is just not working out for us. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. I guess we nuzzle. I mean, I guess, and I guess we go for a, maybe a water spout. I mean, he's gonna knock our HP down, potentially kill us with that fan of horse. Mud shot comes out. This is what this thing's rolling with—a mud shot. Like, what Milo tick runs mud shot? That is my question. This game's over with. This game is just over with. Do do go on, get him out of here. Let's see, fan of horse is probably just gonna take me out as my defense as well. Now we do eat, but water spout is definitely not taking this out. Definitely not. Do do. This is based on max HP. Let's take out that. But like I said, it's not taking out the Milo. Let's take out the Milo. We got to crit, but it doesn't even matter. Oh my lord, we're gonna we're 0 2 right now. We are 0 2, that's a fact. Rough matches, rough matches here. Do I run and just save the Blastoids? Do I do that? Maybe. Who's he going with? Who's he going with? Just with the Corviknight. Yeah, dude, this match is so over. I'm running Blastoids. I'll keep you alive. Um, hopefully we can win the third battle. I don't know. I don't know. We're just getting muffed up today. We had doo doo luck the first one. This one was just we got muffed up. I wasn't expecting a max quake. That, that was kind of the dagger right there. Took us out. We're 0-2 now. Hopefully, we can hop into match number three and be able to pick up a win for this video. It is time for that win. There's no way we're going 3-0. I haven't did that before on video yet. But if you guys are hanging out with me in the certain final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Shell Smash Squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who's hanging out and who watches the videos all the way through. But this guy is Cinderace, Jolteon, so Lightning Rod definitely coming in. Flygon, Gyarados, Grimstar for screens. Again, Raichu definitely coming in. He has Lightning Rod and Brick Break, so that's going to be nice. I'm going to lead him. I'm going to lead him. Um, Raichu and... 
We go Raichu Blastoids. And then eventually Bolt Switch out. Does he have any steel? I think Fairy is the call. And then bump, 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 bump. Back end Pokemon is going to be this Rotom. It's going to be this Rotom as it can do some work on that uh, Gyarados. And it has the Aqua Berry in case the, the Cinderus is here. Going to drop a nice little Pyro Ball on me. But let's see who he leads. I can see him leading maybe the Gyarados for Intimidate. Or maybe the what's it called? Well, who was I thinking he's going to lead? Oh, definitely the Grimmsnarl. Maybe the Fable. Yeah, the Color Fable. I have a Color Fairy with that Evo Light. So who's he going? He's going Grimmsnarl and Gyarados. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I can brick I can brick break next turn. Um we'll brick break next turn. So it's probably uh probably uh pooping his pants a little bit, but do I nuzzle first? Um I can see potentially to swap. I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go this route with it. I am going to go this route with it. Yep, there's a the swap. Good thing I went over on the Grimmy Poo. That's fine. Jolteon comes out here. Is that thing lightning rod? It doesn't matter. We are uh we are what's it called? We are faking out here. And then I'll break break next turn to break screens. What you want, fool? What do you want? The reeds, baby. I'm not going down. I'm not going 0 3. Your boy's not doing that. Let's get it. Big shell smash popping off here. Our attack is boosted. Now, now we're rolling. Now I'm getting schmoovin'. Now I'm getting groovy with this one. Um, I think Jolteon goes down. Right? Or is it Sash? Could be Sash. I'm going to double into it. And I'm going to set rain. I'm going to set rain here. I'm going to set rain. We do outspeed this thing, so. Chilling here. What you gonna do, fool? What are you gonna do? He doesn't want it. We're setting up here. We are setting up. I can start nuzzling around, but reason I did not start nuzzling and all that, this thing could be lightning rod. I'm not sure if it learns lightning rod, but just a safe bet, I was like, okay, he's electric. Could learn lightning rod here. I don't understand why he did swap. He, that's why I thought he swapped, was because of the lightning rod. We weren't going for a lightning. We'll, we'll see what happens. He's gonna go for that light screen. Yo, good thing I'm coming in with that brick break later. Light screen is might. I don't think it's gonna help that Jolteon survive. I still think this stab max guy's just gonna bomb through it with that our item with that mystic water. Like yeah, yeah, yeet baby, and bye bye, and bye bye, and yo, nice light screen you got there. But sorry, I'm gonna have to chop that one up for you. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. So yeah, we can eventually Volt Switch out, like I said, which I'm going to try to do, get the Fairy in, and then just be able to, uh, and then be able to just, uh, follow me out, and have the friend guard up as well. But he has Gyarados, I'm not worried about that Gyarados, I'm not worried about him at all, I'm going to go into that Gyarados, I'm going to come after you again, I'm coming after you. I'm actually going to take out the Grimstarl and go into a, uh, Nuzzle Muzzle, or a Volt Switch. Let's Volt Switch out of here. And then do I guard, I'm just going to take this out and boost my defense. I'm going to boost my defense back to... What, is it plus one or would it be no no wouldn't it be plus one is it minus one or would it be zero i think it only goes down by one i think i think i'll be even on this after this because i know where else speeding i wonder what the garrett gonna do i can see the garrett dynamaxing and just guarding trying to figure out what to do uh-huh okay he is dynamaxing what you want fool i'm coming in with that heavy bolt switch and then i like i said i have the what's called right in the back end i have that uh that rotom right in the back end which who can run some things I should be going first. I should say by the Snarl Barrel. The Snarl Barrel, the Grimmy Poo. And is he going to try to set up another screen? He's not. He's not doing that. He knows that we got Brick Break. He can say bye to the Grim Snarl. Get him out of here. Get him going. I'm not playing around. I told you guys. The first two were little fluke games. But this one, I'm not playing around with. <laughs> Who's in the defensive stat? I hope he goes after Raichu. I really do. But I doubt it. He's got to be going after the big Blasty Poo. Full Twitch. <laughs> oh, he, he has a Berry. That's cool with it. I'm cool with it. And we swapping out. We swapping out. So if you want to try to take out the, the what's it called? The Raichu. That, that's fine. We're going to the Clefairy. We have Friend Guard. So if you do go after Blastoise, there's a potential chance of us uh, surviving with that reduced damage from the Friend Guard, which is beautiful. That's why Clefairy is so good with that Friend Guard ability. He's going to go into an Airstream. That's got to be on the Fairy, right? No it's, on, no, it's on the Blastoise. Look at that. That is one tasty snack. That is the tastiest snack I ever had before. How, we ate that one up like crazy. I thought we were going to eat it up as well. But, yo, that defensive boost brought it back and that friend guard. He's going to go Clefable here. And you know I'm coming in hot with that, uh, do I go like to or do I go follow me? I'm going to go follow me. Like I said, I just got to keep this thing alive. I'm going to just guys over there and bang. They see you later, Fable. Get him going. Get him out of here. It's fine. We got this one in the bag. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it because I'm confident in this one. 
Tail set, smash blast, so it's stocked up. We're ready to go. We're just running things. This should be able to take it out in the main, right? Yeah. Hi. Goodbye, yo. I'm not playing around. How many times do I have to tell you guys this? I'm not playing around. He's going to go into the overgrowth. We're going to eat that one up as well. That's a tasty snack you got there, buddy. Real tasty. Real tasty. Ah. I had to lick my fingers that snack was so good. All right. Let's get it. We're going to end this one. We're going to end this one. Blastoids, I told you, yo, this boy just runs it. He doesn't care. I'm gonna helping hand and just roll out into a flash cannon or do yeah, flash cannon's probably good. Flash cannon, flash, flash cannon, yeah, 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 flash cannon. Or would water spout be the best bet? I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go into a water spout, see if we can do some work with that. You know, it's not very effective. We're in the rain, it's stabbed with the helping hand, and he just canceled the battle. Didn't even need to do it. Didn't even need to do it. I told you. We're not going 0 3. We went 1 and 2 again, but hopefully in the next video we can uh, do a little bit better. 1 and 2, not too bad. Not too bad. Should be 2 and 1, I'm going to say it myself if that guy didn't get the crit. But yo, it's all good. It's all good. I really did like this uh, Shell Smash Blast Race team. I'd like to follow me choices, how I can go in with the Togekiss. We should run like the Roudon or some Steel Pokemon or a Clefairy or I can run a bow. So this team is very well rounded. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.